IRS is coming under fresh scrutiny this morning. A new report is highlighting millions of dollars in spending at agency conferences. The findings come as congressional Republicans say interviews with IRS employees show the order to target conservatives may have come straight from Washington. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Nancy, good morning. Good morning to you, Nora, and to Charlie. Well, this new report that's expected to come out tomorrow has more embarrassing news for IRS officials. It details $50 million in taxpayer spending over the course of two years on IRS conferences. The $50 million was used to pay for 225 conferences between 2010 and 2012 including one $4 million conference in Anaheim, California, for IRS managers, some of whom stayed in lavish rooms like this Hilton presidential suite that's listed at $1,500 a night. Starlight coffee while you wait, sir. A pair of videos produced for that conference cost an estimated $50,000. This Star Trek spoof featured an IRS commissioner as Spock, he reportedly snagged one of those pricey presidential suites. And believe I have found a gathering of leaders who could be of assistance. House Republican Darrell Issa called it yet another example of government excess. The culture of the federal workforce is, is one where I don't think you can, you can underestimate that if you don't keep reminding the voters, but also the federal workers that were watching, this will happen again. The IRS is still being investigated for singling out Tea Party groups for special scrutiny when they applied for tax-exempt status. ISIS committee released excerpts Sunday of interviews with two IRS employees from the Cincinnati unit at the center of the scandal. One employee was asked, did your supervisor give you any indication of the need for the search, any more context? The employee replied, he told me that Washington, D.C. wanted some more cases. Republicans say it shows the targeting wasn't the work of rogue agents, but was ordered by managers in D.C. Democrats say that's a stretch. Former White House senior advisor David Pluff. No one has indicated at all that the White House was involved. The IRS director was appointed under President Bush, served under both presidents. And Democrats say that in all of the interviews that Congress has done so far with workers in that Cincinnati office, no one has named a manager in Washington, D.C., who ordered that Tea Party groups be targeted. Nora and Charlie, the head of the IRS, just appointed by the president, will testify for the first time on Capitol Hill today. He's got a lot on his plate very quickly. Nancy, thanks.